Today we get to fulfill a lifelong dream of getting paid to eat. I'm so excited. That's Nick. And that's Levi. Welcome to Cookies for Breakfast. Today we are going to look at a truly questionable decision. Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise. Even worse! Oh my goodness. Yep, in the Bible we see the story of two brothers, Jacob and Esau. One afternoon, Esau found himself particularly hungry after spending a few hours in the woods. And Jacob found himself making a particularly nice batch of bean stew. Delicious. Mm. Now here's where things get a little interesting. We see Jacob blackmail his brother into selling his birthright just for a cup of that delicious bean medley. Yeah. Okay, if you're not familiar with the term birthright, it basically represents an honor given to the firstborn, representing the head of household status and the right to inherit his father's estate. Status, honor, leadership, land, money, giving this up should have been a big deal. And that got us thinking. How hungry would you have to be to give up all of that for a cup of stew? Well, we'll be eating a trio of foods and rating each of them on a scale of 1 to 10. One food we hate, one food we love, and of course, bean stew. Then we'll go for a nice long hike in the summer heat. And it's a hot one today. We're going to put ourselves in the same mindset as Esau. And when we come back, we'll rate the same three foods for a second time to see if our scores go up. Let's do it! Okay, so we got three foods in front of us, obviously. Bean stew. Sure. Yeah. Guac. Mm -hmm. Which is a food I love. And I, I don't care for it. Yeah. Nick doesn't like it. But olives, I will eat these all day. And yes. I really, really don't like olives. So we're going to taste this first, and then we're going to move into the food we like, and then the food we dislike. And we'll give them a ranking as we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I said, let, like, we're getting to eat food on camera and this is fun, but it's not fun because it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, <laughs> let's get down into it. Um, first up is the bean stew. Oh yeah. I'll let you do the honors. Cause... Everybody's favorite 8 a.m. breakfast. Yeah. Oh, well, I have skipped God. breakfast, so I think actually this might not be too bad. What do you think, camera? Well, once you get through the congealed uh, top, yeah, layer, top layer, yeah. you gotta get through that, uh, what do they call that? The scum? Maybe not the scum. <laughs> scum. The film. The film. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. All right, you ready? Down the hatch. Mmm. Yep. That bring back some memories. Bean stew. Yeah. I feel like Esau. It's, yeah, it's good. A little spicy, yeah, which I like. A, has a slow burn to it. Yeah, slow burn. Yeah. I'm into it. It's tasty. It's very uh, reminiscent of a certain fast food restaurant True. with, uh, True. I don't even know, a bell in it. How so I, I guess on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving this like a, a six. I'm giving it a six. A six? Yeah. That's a three right there. I mean, it's like okay, but it's not good. Yeah. I think we'll find that you and I have very different tastes throughout <laughs> this whole thing. Speaking of which... One that we like first, so... Levi will be going for the guac. I am going for the olive. And these look like real fancy green olives. This looks like some real good guac. Mm. Here we go, folks. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. All right. Yeah, smells good. Yeah, yeah here we go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That is much better than the typical jar of green olives you can get at the supermarket. I paid me. I paid some primo money for that, bud. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah. I'm giving that a seven. I'm giving this an eight. This is one of the better olives I've ever had in my life. Those are very tasty. All right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> let's, uh... You wanna switch? Yeah, let's swap them out here so you get all the aroma. Really take in the bouquet. And, uh, I don't know what it is about them. I don't know. I, anything salty. That's why I, I, I really get attracted to salty foods. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of salt in guac. So <laughs> make sure I get some of the uh, red bits, whatever they are. 
right? mm-hmm. <laughs> Three, two, one. I hate it so much. Mm. I hate it so much. Oh, the consistency. Oh. Okay. Usually, I'll just end up eating the tortilla chips on their own because that's a much better move. Mm. Okay. Okay. They're so salty. They very much are. Yeah. Uh, it's like licking a briny <laughs> fish hull. The thing about <laughs> the thing about guac is I can never tell what's <laughs> good and bad. Like if this has been sitting out for a day and a half, other than color, there's really no way to tell if it's if it's good or bad. So, um, gosh, I'm gonna give that a two. That's one of the better olives you've had. Yes, I can't really imagine is. having yes, a bad is. olive. Oh, oh, flip. Remind oh. me to get a jar of bad olives for you sometime. One, zero. Which one? Is this a one to ten or a zero? It's a to one ten. to ten. We said one. one. Okay. I'm feeling a lot more generous today than you are. I think all of them I scored higher. Yeah. Well, what can you do? All right. Okay. Time to get out <laughs> into that. Summer sunshine. You know, if you want to talk about things that we don't like, hiking in the summer heat got to be at the top of my list. So yeah, in a on an empty stomach, no less. Oh yeah. Also, so like we haven't eaten anything right. uh, before this. Like we haven't eaten anything since dinner. Right. Um, this is the only food we're gonna have the whole day. What we just had, what you saw, um, until like four o'clock tonight. Right. So, yeah. Should be. So interesting. hopefully we like all of these foods better. Um, once they've been refrigerated and reheated and all that good stuff. <laughs> Let's find out. All right. So I think we're here. No. Are we here? I I don't know. Don't know. No, here. Focus. I think we, this is... Are we here? We might be here. I, I think we're here. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Sunscreen montage. have 47 pockets on my person and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Back to you, Perch. This is my little guy, Jonas. He's joining us for the hike today. He's much better at hiking than I am. Let's do it. maybe yeah something like <laughs> like uh, 45 minutes but what can you do uh, well we are back to the top of the trailhead you guys ready to taste some foods again can I get it on the guacamole <laughs> yeah definitely let's do it all right so we are back in the studio after our exciting outdoor adventure and we have not eaten since uh, this morning, obviously. But yeah, I'm feeling it. How about you, Nick? I haven't had a meal in about 21 hours, so <laughs> I'm a little hangry. Eight hours, to be fair. Eight hours. But yeah, I'm feeling uh, pretty Esau-ish, if you like that term. Um, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't necessarily sell a double, double portion of my inheritance for a bite right now. 
No, I don't know. It, it would have to be some pretty dynamite stew, but uh, that's why we're doing this experiment. So yeah, let's find out, shall we? Let's Ready do to get it. Into it again? Yeah, I can't wait another minute. Let's okay. do this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want to taste the stew first? Yeah. Woohoo! Now I remember the slow burn, so that's that's good. Doesn't that look great, folks? Get a close up on that mess. My goodness, I can't even get in there. Mm. This is the old film that was on it. All right. All right. I'm not going to lie. That tastes better. I'm not going to lie. Really? I'm not just saying that for the camera. That actually tastes better. I'm kind of feeling this now. All right. Um, yeah. I suppose we could better recreate this thing. Let's do it. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember my previous score, but I'm going to give this an eight. Whoa! Eight chili? Yeah, I'm I'm super hungry right now, and that that was satisfying on a, a level that I didn't realize I could have. <laughs> wow! I'm so happy for you. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm gonna go with a five, which I believe is an improvement. I think I scored it a three on the first round. It was a five. That's like, yeah, it's not like good, but it tasted good. If that makes sense. Right. This would satisfy. Yeah, it's it satisfies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Change your slogan. I don't know what brand of chili we got, but that uh, okay. All right, <laughs> you ready for the good or the bad? Let's. We started with the olives last time. Let's start with the guac this time. So the bad, for me, because I have to eat the olives. Oh, okay. Well then, let's start with the good. Let's start with the one we'd like. Okay, I can't wait. I'm sorry. Right. I'm gonna go for that. I'm coming over here. What's the song? Guacamole. Guac guacamole. All right. Come on, Feel Olive. the avocado. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Excellente picante, folks. All right. All right. Oh boy. I'm obviously going for another one. Yeah. Yep. Mm. One moment, please. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way up to 10 for the simple reason that I need to leave some space for a better olive in my life. Whoa. Conceivably, there is a better olive out there somewhere and I would be hungry enough to declare it a 10 someday. But that said, I'm gonna give this a nine. Yeah, I was gonna say something, nine. It's delicious, I love yeah. it. It's so good. It's crunchy. It's salty. It's creamy. I'm so hungry. These olives have a, a je ne sais quoi that's just out of this world. Pardon. I love them. I love them. All right. I'm going to come back to these after you're done. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you know what sounds really bad when you're really hungry? Your least favorite food in the whole world. Okay. All right. Guacamole. But I'm ready to be proved wrong. Maybe this will be it for me. Gosh, I had a hard time getting this down last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going for a heap and helping on this guac. I'm not. I'm not. These are so this big. One. Let's see. Are that they is, the same? Are you getting more than me? That's about the same. Mm. Those are the same. Those are some monster olives. Why do they smell like that? And I'm curious about these yellow specks. What what, what has been added to the brine? Yeah, that I don't even know. Give us these. The, uh, anyway, I'm not that concerned about it. Why do people eat this? Oh. No, no, come on, Chip. You're you're washing that guy now. Why you eat Chip? Uh, mm. Mm. Gosh! Mm. This is so gross. <laughs> I'm calling you out, olive lovers of the world. Put it in the comments. Tell me, why do you like this? Mm -hmm. You it, know what? I, I, uh, I have an addition. I have a similar challenge to guacamole lovers. Like, how how can you have that slime in your mouth <laughs> and not just want to put it out of your mouth immediately? That's just not good. So salty. Okay. I don't re I don't remember what I gave the guac to start with. Um, 
but I would not sell my inheritance for that, for sure. <laughs> no matter how it? much. What are you reading it? Uh, I'm gonna give it a two. That might actually be lower. I don't remember. That, yeah, that, I agree with that. Both times a two? Okay. I stand by that. That was unpleasant. Yeah, I can't give this more than a one. It was the worst. I almost gagged. It, it just, I don't even know. Licking the floor of the ocean. <laughs> it's just so acidic mm -hmm. and salty. Mm -hmm. And somehow it has this weird funk as if it's been like left. I'll take the funk. That's fine. Well, you can have you, the funk. You have that. Honestly, I am not about it. That's yours. All right, so I guess in a way we're trying to grade Esau on his decision to sell his birthright for some food after he's been out hunting all day or whatever he was doing. Uh, no. No, no. I, I, I will admit to being extremely hungry, and um, no, I, I don't want any of it. I would not sell my birthright, even for this delicious bowl of olives. You, know, you have nothing to apologize for, olive lovers of the world. <laughs> Stay I disagree, but, you know, do what you want. Live your life. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think Esau was just really hangry, or he was just thinking very short-sightedly. Either way, it doesn't really make sense. Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Yeah. Join us on our other socials. Do you like what we're making? Help us continue to make it. Yeah. We would love that so much. Okay, well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. We'll see you next time.